What's up guys and welcome to another Five Nights at Freddy's update video. Now it's been a long time since I've said those words, probably a few months at this point, but we do have some brand new information on the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's VR game. So we actually have a name for the game, a title, and a description which says what we're going to be doing in the actual game and it's pretty insane. I think you guys hear what we're going to be doing in it. It's exactly what you expected and a little bit more. It's going to be absolutely insane. But you guys know what to do. If you guys want a chance to win the complete version of Five Nights at Freddy's, that's Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 5, all you have to do is leave a like on the video down below, leave a comment down below saying FNAF, and hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon, and that is it. You are entered. It's really that simple. I figured this is the best time to do this giveaway because of the fact, well, Five Nights at Freddy's VR is right around the corner and a bunch of other stuff for 2019. So if you haven't had the chance to play the other Five Nights at Freddy's games, this is your perfect opportunity. Now, like I said, this is going to be a pretty short video because there's not much news here, but I just want to break it down for you guys and just give my thoughts on it. So I want to go ahead and start with what Scott said on the original, you know, game uh, Steam update mega thread thing, if you guys remember that. He actually said for Finance Rays VR, it was like 40% complete. Now, keep in mind, this was all the way back in, I want to say it was November of 2018. So it's been quite a while since then. And back then he said, you know, the game looks terrific. It's being made by a company called Steel Wool. So I've never really heard of them but apparently they're really good at it he's even played some of it and he thought it was insane and one of the parts he mentions is um if you liked repairing funtime freddy up close and sister location just wait until you try to do something like that in vr up close personal with these huge animatronics that are just one mistake away from jumping at you i refused to test it and had and had his first son or had his son um brayden test it instead the repair section is one small part of the game and for the first time you're going to all get to see an actual stage performance from the classic band so he gave us a little bit of info on the game you know we're gonna be repairing certain animatronics we're gonna be able to see an actual performance from the band in the actual game which is just pretty mind-boggling but we didn't really know much about it well now if we head over to the esrb.org website which I have it linked in the description they've actually given the game a title and I've given it but they've revealed the title along with a short summary about the game along with the rating so the rating for the game is actually gonna be T for teen which surprised me I was really thinking it was gonna get that you know rated M rating here just for mature it was gonna be a lot of like blood and stuff like that but apparently it's just rated T for teen uh, for fantasy violence now it also says the platform is PlayStation 4 which is interesting because I thought for sure this was going to be like a, you know, Steam VR and Oculus or a HTC Vive kind of game, but apparently it's going to be for the PSVR, which I actually don't mind. I think that's going to be way easier. That's way easier to set up, way easier to use than, you know, the Oculus and the um, the other one, the HTC Vive. So I'm actually okay with it coming to PlayStation 4. Now it says content descriptors, fantasy violence. And it says rating summary this is a vr puzzle slash horror game in which players assume the role of a repair person tasked with monitoring slash repairing animatronic characters at a pizzeria from a first person perspective players explore dark hallways complete puzzles and try to avoid menacing malfunctioning animatronic figures the game contains frequent screams and jump scares with the words you are dead appearing on the screen after the player are the, after the players are attacked and that's all we get so the actual title of the game, I don't know if I already said this, but it's Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. So it looks like we're going to be the mechanic. We, we are the help that was wanted for this situation. We're going to be going into this location and dealing with whatever they need help with. I'm assuming every day we're going to have a different task that we're going to have to do. So whether it's repair Freddy or, you know, fix the stage or fix a light on the stage, you know, we're going to have to do different things. So maybe one day, you know, a light will be broken in the back room. But while we're back there, an animatronic might show up and we have to hide from it or something like that. I don't know. I just imagine that this is going to be insane. I think the, the idea of having, you know, us be the help wanted, we're the mechanic, we could do anything there. You know, anything could happen in, the, in this game here. So that's super exciting now it does say it's a vr puzzle slash horror game so i guess that makes sense i guess it's going to be like puzzly so there's going to be different things we have to do like maybe you know different obviously puzzles that we're gonna have to solve um and this kind of reminds me of resident evil like even with the jump scare it says after you get jump scared the words you are dead appear on the screen after you're attacked i mean if you've ever played a resident evil game it always says you know something along those lines so i don't know i, I think that's kind of what he's going for here like a resident evil vibe to it which if you guys ever played resident evil one or even two for that matter you would know especially one there's a 
lot of puzzles there, a lot of things that you got to go through, and it's pretty terrifying. So I think he's really going for that kind of feeling. Now, he also says um, the player assumes the role of a repair person tasked with monitoring slash repairing animatronic characters. Okay, so he says it right there. So yeah, we're going to be going there to repair animatronics and monitor them. So it's kind of just like FNAF 1 but they're adding the whole, you know, repairing function to the game. So we might start off in the office and then we have to go out there. Uh, our task that night is, let's just say, you know, Freddy has broken down. We're going to have to go out there, repair Freddy, but then Chica and Bonnie are still active. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but that's going to be super exciting. I think that's just going to be insane to have to do. Um, and it also says from a first person perspective, players explore dark hallways so, yeah, we know, left and right hallway. That's another thing. I'm curious. Is it going to take place in the original Final Fantasy Freddy's location or someplace new? I'm really, really hoping for someplace new, but I would understand if it takes place in the FNAF 1 location. That would make sense. I mean, I could see that. But if this is a new area, I'm excited to be able to explore these dark hallways. But if it is the original location, then we know by dark hallways, they mean the left and the right hallway in the pizzeria. Complete puzzles and try to avoid menacing, malfunctioning animatronic figures. So obviously, while we're doing these puzzles, there's going to be animatronics roaming around and they're going to be causing chaos. So we're going to have to like avoid them while also completing puzzles. That's a, that just sounds like it's going to be insane. I have no idea. Now, it also says the game uh, contains frequent uh, screams and jump scares. And like we said, with the words, you are dead appearing on the screen after the players uh, attacked. So, yeah, I mean, it sounds like a Five Nights at Freddy's game, but just way scarier. I honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to beat this myself, to be honest, because having that headset on, if you guys have never played VR, it really puts you in the world. And especially with how advanced it is at this point that you put on that headset and you feel like you're actually there. So I don't know if I'll be able to like survive that, you know, like real life, like going up into the pizzeria, entering it, stepping into the office, knowing that if I turn around, there could be a huge animatronic just sitting right behind me. That is just really scary to think about. And that jump scare in VR, I, I know, I, I, well, actually, I don't know, but I would be super upset if it ends up just being the jump scare where they just shake back and forth and the company didn't put any effort into it. I think they probably put a lot of effort into things like that, the things that really scare you. So jump scares in this game, I imagine, because they're like, the animatronics are like seven feet tall, six foot, whatever, probably seven foot at that point, but um, they're going to pick you up and physically like hold you and then just do something to you like it's gonna actually feel like let's say they just bite your head off it's gonna feel like they're actually like you're gonna be inside of an animatronics mouth in vr so you're gonna be able to actually look around in there and see like that is just gonna be insane i don't know that's just it's gonna be so freaky now if we compare this to what he said previously like i said um he did mention in the previous one that uh, whatchamacallit, it, it's gonna be similar to repairing Funtime Freddy up close and sister location, so along those lines, I'm assuming we're probably gonna have tools, like maybe, you know, just a hammer and that kind of stuff, uh, and pliers and stuff like that, and we're gonna be able to, act, I, I'm assuming, okay, this is how I think it's gonna be, there's gonna be a desk in front of us, the animatronic's gonna be on the desk, okay, picture that, on the right side is gonna be our tools, on the left side will be maybe a camera system or something like that, maybe a tablet that we can actually pull up and look at, see where the animatronics are, but on the right side, you'll be able to grab your tool, work on the animatronic do what you got to do if you mess up obviously it results in a jump scare so i'm assuming it's not going to be something as simple as you know just simply pressing a button like it was in sister location we're gonna have to actually pull pieces off of this thing we're gonna have to work on this thing like inside of its you know animatronic endoskeleton and stuff like that now we also mentioned something else i want to talk about um what do you say oh the repair section is one small part of the game which is interesting because on the esrb rating thing it claims that, you know, monitoring and repairing the animatronics are the main part of the game. You know, the role of a repair person, that's our main task, is repairing animatronics. But maybe things go wrong. So maybe something happens, we're not able to repair the animatronics anymore, we just have to survive. That's what I'm assuming will happen, but I don't know. Um, and he also said, you know, for the first time, we're going to be able to see the, an actual stage performance from the classic band. So my whole idea of, you know, this might take place in another location... I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be FNAF 1, uh, but it is going to be cool. I mean, obviously, we've seen the game on cameras and stuff like that. We've seen it in fan games, but to be able to actually, you know, walk up into the dining room, pull out a chair, sit in it, and watch the stage, like watch the actual animatronics performing, I think is going to be really cool. And of course, we know the, the, the animatronics, when they're performing, something's going to go bad. Something's going to happen, and it's just going to cause the whole thing to go bad. But I am interested to see what's going to happen. You know, is he going to have a main portion of the game where we're repairing animatronics, or is the main portion of the game going to take place inside of the office? 
I think, like I said, it's going to start off in the office. We're going to have to go out every night. We're going to have like a to-do list in front of us. We're going to have to go out, do that, finish that those tasks, and then we're able to go on to the next night. That kind of thing. And then we're able to walk out ourselves, which that le leads to another question, though. You know, whenever we leave, we never actually get to see our character leave the pizzeria. We, it just kind of says, you know, you go home for the night, you come back. But I want to see us actually open the door to the pizzeria, you know, the front door, and walk out and see what it looks like out there. I want to see how Scott imagines this world looking. Also, us going home. I just, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, you could probably skip that because, I mean, unless something interesting is happening at the house, I feel like it could just show us, you know, we walk out the door, it like goes all white, the screen goes all white, and then it goes to the next day, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's overall my thoughts on Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. I'm excited, but I'm also terrified. I know that. You guys are going to want to see me play this game, but I just don't know if I'll be able to make it through the entire game. But for you guys, I'll definitely try my best. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new, channel, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to stay updated with videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.